Well, hello, one and all. Welcome, welcome. I didn't... I thought that might move a little bit or something. Maybe if I hit plants. Welcome. Whoa, that was cool. Welcome, anyway, to Playframe and Control. We have, gosh, so much work. <laughs> We've been given so many tasks. Like, look at all this. What a mess, indeed. So, I haven't decided how much of all this I'm going to actually do, because it seems like we could spend a few weeks on this, and I don't know that I want to. Uh, I do want to do this, for sure. This looks interesting. Locate the mirror in synchronicity. Uh, there's just some altered item in there that sounds neat, and I want it. Uh, after that, we'll look into Ati's stuff, maybe. Uh, see how long that takes and how interesting it is. And then we'll just kind of, uh, work our way through. I feel like... Langston's runaways, they're probably interesting enough to do something with. The, uh, old squad mates, we'll run into them as we find them. Uh, that I heard someone mention might be DLC stuff, which seems like something to save for later. And then there's mold removal. There's so much stuff. We're being given so many tasks. Right now, I just want to go find that mirror, and I think the mirror is this away. So let's go this away. To synchronicity! Hello? Huh, guess we haven't been in here yet. Looks nice. Awful big room for one conference table. What is this room about, anyway? Couldn't really tell you what synchronicity means. Any reading to do which might help? Well, we can just go through this. That's nice. But, um... Nothing in here? Really? Huh. Surprise, there's no reading. Let me go upstairs a bit and see if there's anything interesting up here. That's... marginally interesting. No. Stop it. Quit. Stop it. Hey, look at us. Getting stuff done. On accident. Love the blue mold. Raspberry flavored. Now then. It, oh. Want me to go down there, huh, Swirly? Well, just you wait. I gotta... Hmm, another TV room. I gotta read! Yes, finally! Knew there had to be something. Examination of paranatural topics. Experimentation with global synchronicity. As a test, television sets were placed in a variety of locations around the world inside rooms identically decorated. The hypothesis was that by identically altering the decor of every room, and then changing the channel in every room but one, that the single differing television would spontaneously align the incoming frequency to match its synchronized counterparts. The experiment seemed like a failure until it was observed that the agents responsible for arranging and monitoring these rooms were all experiencing the same emotional turmoil as one clinically depressed member of the team, himself being located in the eastern part of Redacted. Psychological examination of the agents proved the correlation. Interestingly, the phenomenon of synchronicity did occur, but not in the way we predicted. So that's what it is. Neat. Good. Wait a minute, why do I have... Why do I have multimedia that I've not... Or, or is this the, um, yeah, okay, no, we saw that already. Sorry about the, um, sorry about the thing there. I'll fix it later. Or get somebody else to do it. I mean, I'm the director. Can't be fixing everything around here. Can I get in here? No? Okay. Down here it is then, to mirror testing. I bet that's what we'll find the mirror. Call it Hodge. Hello? Why'd they keep an altered item here? Seems as good a place as any. Though I guess the Panopticon would make more sense. For that purpose. Huh. Hmm. Mirror one. Mirror two. Huh. 
So do I need to do something to make these line up? Well, let's explore the space first. Ooh. Debrief for mirror excursion 7C. Subject is Agent Hardy. Hardy spent approximately three hours in the mirror. It's the longest time on record. Can you describe your experience inside Agent Hardy? So, Agent Hardy is physically healthy. All tests have come back clean. Yet the speech issue has persisted for hours. Calm down, Agent. It could be psychosomatic, but the fact that this only occurred after returning from the mirror makes a paranatural explanation more likely. I recommend a battery of tests and a class orange quarantine. That's pretty good. I thought I saw... Yeah, here we go. Altered item examination proposal, uh, AI-60, a.k.a. the mirror. This proposal is to finally determine the precise nature of the reflected space within the altered item. Is it transplanar, psychologically generated, or rooted within our own dimension? How does the altered item know the space in its vicinity well enough to reflect it? Why does it reflect some materials but not others? Is the space a parallel reality? If so, then we need to consider that while we possess this physical end of the mirror, someone else owns the other. What purpose might they use it for? Can they walk through into our own world? What are their motives? Lastly, to what purpose does the altered item produce the reflections of individuals that enter it? Can these reflected entities leave the altered item? As with all altered items, we need to attempt to distinguish if this behavior is redacted redacted. Hmm. I feel like I don't yet fully grasp what this mirror is doing. Um... So what does this do? Okay. Alright, so this is the sort of thing that I need to do to make sure, I'm guessing, that the mirrors are synced up. So, okay. On this side, all those are closed. So it seemed. On this side, they are hmm, also closed. Okay, so that's already the same, seems like. I'll check the other side again in a second. What do we got? Altered Item Behavioral Study, AI-60, containing the reflection. AI-60, the mirror, does not reflect its surroundings with perfect accuracy. The environment seen in its glass contains slight distinctions. It is unknown why the mirror does this. If there is any redacted, then it's something we can't perceive. The popular theory is that the mirror has a goal in mind, that it reflects the world it wishes were real, subtly replacing our reality with its own. While certainly far-fetched, the theory is worth noting here as a warning not to underestimate the mirror. The specifically designed black rock panels have been installed to prevent access from our side or the mirrors. For added security, a particular arrangement of the panels is required to open the door. Ah, okay. Okay. Is that particular arrangement something I'm going to find... here... in the lab somewhere... written down, or... Will I find that arrangement just by kind of looking through the screens? It looks like there's a mirror in there. Yeah. Okay. So one of those, if I'm looking at it right, it seems like one of those is raised and the other two are down on that side. Huh. How does this work? They're all like placed differently, it looks like. The shutters in the image look different. Yeah, I mean, I've noticed that too. Maybe the other two, okay, maybe it's just that this camera is not raised up high enough. The other two shutters are higher, kind of out of frame. So up, up, down, and uh, down, down, up, it looks like. Uh. I do not have confidence. <laughs> what am I missing? Hmm. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, up, up, down. Down, down, up. 
but from which side? Huh, okay. Well, let me see. Um, if this one's down, down, up. Alright, so that's the mirror's view. So, with that mirror's view, then, uh... Ah, jeez. From that mirror's view, if I'm looking at this right, sorry about the chair, it should be this. And then on the other side, it should be... Boy, I don't know if I've got this right. On the other side, it should be... Up, up, down. Okay, just the opposite of what I have over there currently. I think. And... this? No? No. Is the view any different right now? No. I think I might... I got this order reversed, I think. Uh, there. Okay. And then... Possibly the same on this side. Sorry, my brain just... <laughs> has a little difficulty with this for some reason. What do these shutters do? I thought I had that figured out, but apparently no. Um... Alright, so... Maybe this is what it is. From this side on the left, it's supposed to be open, open, closed. And then on this side, on the right from the mirror, it's closed, closed, open. Uh, and the mirror is on this far wall over here, so... Uh... Closed... Closed... Open? Poof, that one was a little tricky, but I got it. Got it figured out. All right, Mirror, you and me. We are going to sort this out. Okie dokie. Yeah, a slim fish? Wait, that didn't sound right. And then if he says Jimmy and your mirror says mirror says Yeah, that's not good. It's fun and blue though. And there's more reading. Oh, no, wait, no. Ah, and it's backwards, too. Shoot. Am I gonna have to go back outside? Is that not gonna open? I don't know if that's gonna open. Uh... Hmm... Well, let's go outside, I guess? Well, after this. Oh, we're gonna hear the other side now, yes. What? I can't understand you. You need to listen. I saw something in there. There is something inside. You need to lock down the mirror. Why are you talking like that? What's wrong with you? All of you? There's something in that fucking mirror! That's fun. Uh, something in the mirror, though, huh? Let's see if we can find it. Hello? Anyone? Hmm... Can I go through? Nope, okay. Hmm... Did you see that? Someone's in there! Wait, in what? Hurry, Nano Monsieur! Whoa! Oh! Anyone could understand that. 
Wait, someone's in here? Oh, it's me. That's not good. Huh. Still not doing anything? No? Okay. What about this way? Sorry about all the um, stuff I'm knocking over. It's not on purpose. This was... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um... Hello? Will this open? Yeah, I kind of figured they weren't going to let me out of here. What about upstairs? Is this something? Yeah! Hello. Hmm. That's not good. It's neat, though. Uh, ah! Hello again. Um. That's not what I wanted to happen. I don't think. Can I? No. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna go down here. Oh, shoot. We're doing fights, huh? Fine. Catch. All right. Weirdo doppelganger, come here. Get messed up. Get completely messed up. Agreed. Whoa. It's pretty cool, though. No. Can't keep using abilities. That sucks. I use abilities, and that's my thing. Stop it. Quit. Stop it. Quit. I'm getting you. Give me that health. Woo! Hey! Be cool. Don't start with that. Can't bl Can't hide forever! Punk? That explains why they locked this mirror up. Yeah. This mirror is a bit of a mess. Maybe I should go back to the other side. If I can. This is a neat one, though. I wonder what the bureau was doing with this thing. There we go. Nice. It's dealt with. Got some ability points, got some other random stuff. Um, Victorian Mirror, uh, AI-60 UE. The item should be kept in a sealed chamber with minimal external visibility. A hanging mirror, oval in shape. The frame is made of ornately wrought brass. The item does not reflect its surroundings accurately. The item's effect is complex. Most notable is the fact that the glass transports individuals to a paranatural space when touched. In this space is an imperfect reflection of our reality. Some objects inside the reflection are simple mirror images, some are redacted redacted, while some do not appear at all. The reflection only contains areas within a redacted distance from the item itself. Relocating the item has proven that the reflection changes to depending on its surroundings. Typo. Agents have been sent in to explore the reflection. Redacted has been observed in the test subject sent inside, believed to be psychosomatic. Prolonged exposure to the reflection is not advisable. Hmm. 
Seems dangerous. Uh, ah, and yes, that. Cool. And we got some ability points for spending. I was kind of hoping for a new, like, actual proper ability, but this, this is good and fine. What am I going to spend it on? Um, launching or levitating? Both good options. Hmm. You know, we're real close to having this. Let's save up for multi-launch. Seems fun. Okay. Uh, uh, haven't dipped into this in a bit. Is there anything good? Um, no. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of this one. <laughs> See if some new ones pop up. Uh, kill enemies and expeditions without taking damage from the target. No, no, I want none of them. No thanks. Uh, anything new or good? Let's upgrade Pierce, I guess. Sure. And... Eh. Okay. All right, I think we're done in this space, so hooray. Uh, what's next? Let's see. Mold removal, which we've started on, yeah? A little bit? Like, we got one. Yeah, we got one. And this seems both boring and like something that we will passively get a little further in as we just keep running around. So let's not make that our main objective. Let's choose something else. Like, um, you know what? Let's do some Ati jobs. Talk to the plants. Are there any in this area? I don't think so. No, let's uh, talk to the plants in the research sector. Oh, wait. Have I not been in here? I guess I haven't. There's a bunch of stuff all of a sudden. Oh, this is kind of familiar. Oh, yeah, that one was in the video. I remember. There's more objects around here, though. And this I don't recall at all. I can get in there, though. Heck yeah. This, gosh, there's tons of stuff in here. What's going on? Uh. Whoa. What? What happened? Uh, if I do this, what happens? I... <laughs> okay. This is weird. This is really weird. What have I found in here? Federal Bureau of Control, the Lucky Item Manifest. A bronze koi fish from China attracts abundance and wealth feng shui. Horseshoe, Ireland. Wards off evil. Orientation important. Heals up. Allows luck to be kept. Heals down. Luck flows outward. Manaki Neko, Japan. Beckoning cat used in shops. Paw held up to beckon customers, creating luck for the business owner. Four-leaf clover, Ireland. Shamrock. Rare plant variation. Connections to druidic healing rituals. Elephant, China. Protection, good luck, wisdom, feng shui. Light bulb, various. Documented gambling rituals indicate luck is produced when all lights in the room are turned on. Note effect of items to be tested. Consider investigating the orientation of horseshoe. Also consider positioning of feng shui objects. Proximity of luck items may influence luck readings. For more information on ritual use, lucky actions to perform and avoid, and relevance to OCD behavior, see file, etc. Interesting. So we're in the lucky item room. Uh. So, like, hang on. Wait a minute, so... So it's best to use this object from a distance? I don't know if I can use the object from a distance. Because it looked like if I pass over the red line, then uh, that's like, no, don't do that. If I stay away... Is it just that your luck is better if you stay away from this thing in general? Is that the whole? Is that the whole joke? Because I don't think I can interact with this without crossing the line. Nope. 
Not possible. <laughs> uh, lights. Okay, yeah, turn the lights on. Let's turn all the lights on, see what happens. This is an interesting little play space. Lights. Yes? Good. Lights. Uh, did I get this one already? Yes. Okay. Let's turn on all of the lights. Uh, lights? Okay. Are there more out here? I bet there are. Uh, horseshoe. Let's flip it over. Um, let me check that whiteboard one more time. Pardon me. Okay. Uh, clover check, light bulbs check, uh, fish less than two feet check, horseshoe, who knows, elephant and cat, who knows. This is interesting. And it may not be that there's a whole lot to actually do here. It's maybe just a space to play around in, but seems kind of neat. Uh. Huh. There's the fish. Uh. Four leaf clover. What else? Elephants over there, cats over here. Okay, so maybe. Maybe what we've got here is. Okay, they're telling me which ones to mess with and which ones to not. So they say, don't mess with gambling, which I've already kind of messed with it, but I'm going to not now. Uh, and that one has a TV which says one. I don't know if that makes any difference at all. Um, Clover, take it. Lights, turn them all on. Fish, I guess, be close to the fish. That might be the last one. Elephant, cat, and horseshoe are all question marks. I think I've turned on all the lights. Uh, horseshoes like this. Elephant and cat were question marks. Take this. Stand next to fish. I feel like this is doing nothing. <laughs> Did I, like, already botch it by using the, uh... Why can't I remember? Is that a craps table? That's not a craps table. Roulette. Did I already mess it up by messing with the roulette table? Or is this nothing? Alright, keep that on. Lights on. Lights on. Lights on. On? Okay, on. Uh, lights on. This is weird. Maybe I need to try turning off elephant and cat. Uh,. Turn off elephant, and... Anything? No? Uh... Turn off horseshoe. Still not sure if this is supposed to be right side. Okay, looks like up, yes, according to this. So, okay, let's leave that one there. Are there any more useful whiteboards that I've just been kind of walking past? I bet there are. Um... Uh... 
I mean, I can go through, and that's nice, but, uh... Oh, I have been in here! I just came in from the other side, and this is where, like, the, uh... The, uh, security ranger crew was all setting up before I went marching in there. I remember now. Okay, yes. That's why this looks kind of familiar. Uh... All right. I'm gonna turn this back on. And if I understand right, this last one is saying... Just be close to the fish, yes? Be really close to the fish. Um... What's this? Oh, it's- I'd moved the, uh... Moved the clover. Huh. Bunch of lights just turned on. Fish? Hmm. I assume the lights all turning on is an interesting sign that I'm doing something right, or maybe the lights were all turned on before and I just... Hang on. If I walk through here... Nothing... Yeah, okay, maybe that's just the way the lighting works, uh, in their engine. Okay. I'm a bit baffled by this one, and I may have to just give up on it. Though, what a neat little puzzle to have in here. I don't love the question marks on the, uh, cat, elephant, and, uh, horseshoe thing. It feels like too many variables just, uh... left wide open. And I can't see any other signage providing any additional hints. Like, maybe do activate all the ones where the light is on? Is that something? Uh, so, like, light's on there. Let's activate that. Light's on over here. Plant it and then get near fish? Yeah, I got no idea. <laughs> Gonna have to give up on this one, unfortunately. That's... Intriguing, and I'm really curious what would happen if I got it right, or if anything would happen. But, uh... Yeah, I, I can't right now, but, uh, that's super cool. And, uh... <laughs> what a neat puzzle thing for them to do. I need to talk to plants, though. I need to find plants and talk to them. In... This general area. Which plants, though? There's a lot of plants. Ati? Talk to the plants. Small talk was never really my strong suit. Plants? At least they can't talk back. That we know of. You've seen a lot of wild stuff today, Jesse. Make no assumptions. What's this? Oh, okay, it's just a radio. Uh, plants? Oh, here's a plant. I hope your day has been productive, little plant. <laughs> that really works, huh? Apparently so. Let's find more plants to talk to. Um, ah, wonderful. Greetings! You're not supposed to be here. Go away. Phenomenal, thank you. Um, plants? Where's more of you? 
I do appreciate that, like, I don't love that having a whole bunch of quests dropped on you that feel a little bit busy workish, that are that are very MMO fetch questy, like go to all these places and kill a bunch of enemies here, go fetch a bunch of things, all that stuff. I do love that there's a lot of fun uh, world building attached to all of it. That's great. I hope those nasty hiss haven't been bothering you too much. And the world building value is extremely good, more than worth the uh, more than worth the sort of obnoxiousness of the, uh... I wish my leaves were as pretty as yours. <laughs> more, more than worth the somewhat relatively boring tasks you actually have to complete. Maybe I wouldn't mind it quite so much if it would have been spread out just a little bit more. Like, I know I got Ati's kind of all at once here, but... I've also been getting everybody else's kind of all very close together also. which has resulted in an awful lot of busy work around the Bureau. And I love me some Bureau. But there's a lot of exciting story kind of going on hold <laughs> to do Ati chores. Where's the rest of these plants? Well, this isn't a plant, but I'll take it. Uh, hey, so I was just wondering about the plants and research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, that janitor does have a nice voice, and the plants sure seem to like it. Maybe he could just switch it up a bit? I'm getting pretty tired of the tango. And where do these plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted. And people like them a bit too much, if you ask me. Are we being invaded by houseplants? Worth looking into. Dr. Lewis. <laughs> Here's another one. A glimpse into the paranatural synchronicity and the unseen connections. Synchronicity is a phenomenon long recognized by the wise, but only recently given a name by science. It's how we rationalize events connected by no identifiable causality, yet clearly conjoined in purpose. How does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane? Why do hounds bail at the death of their master, which has occurred miles away? The world is unified in ways we do not yet understand, and sometimes we stumble across these invisible unseen cords and wonder at the result. The visionary Carl Jung laid the road, now we must walk it. My fledgling research department will make it our mission to reliably reproduce redacted redacted behavior by the close of 1959. Once done, the mechanics of synchronicity will lay themselves bare in due time. We are striding into the future of science. History may not remember our names, but God himself will. Refer to file redacted for full report. Interesting. Seems an old one. Plants! Can I get up there? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Oh, maybe. Yeah, okay, good. Um, anything in here? Plants, perhaps? I would love to find me some plants. Where am I? Hello? Um... Anyone? It's kinda moldy in here. Hi. Hi, hello. Hidden location discovered, huh? Go me. Ah, that's the worst. Don't love that one bit. No, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I says. Get out of here. Shoot. Quite a room. Get out of here. All he is. Hey. Die. Shoo. Shoo and die. Gracious. That's a lot of mods. That's more mods than anyone needs. What's this? Game Hammer AI5. Huh, an early one. Per Archival Mandates 8A, this document has been edited to meet current administrative standards. Certain terminology may be out of date. No method for suppressing the item's thaumaturgical effect is yet known. To prevent infection, wear proper safety gloves when handling. 
The item is a wooden mallet from a High Striker carnival game. A long wooden handle extends from the head. The item infects any organic material with an unknown disease upon making physical contact. The effects of this disease are similar to leprosy but develop at a much faster rate. Within a matter of days, tissue loss develops in the limbs closest to the point of infection. While the disease itself has not claimed any lives, secondary infection has resulted in numerous deaths. Interesting. Bad at finding plants, good at finding other neat stuff, it seems like. So... Okay. What do we got here? Dear Dr. Darling, I feel I must inform you of the very questionable documentation I'm seeing from Underhill's desk. She clearly has no concept of what the mold is. She claims there are microorganisms responsible for constructing the mold. It's ridiculous. It's a rapidly growing fungus, not dissimilar to kudzu. She's fabricating complexity to justify her absurd budget demands. Speaking of which, I find it interesting that an old friend of yours gets her budgets approved with no questions asked. I wonder if the Operations Oversight Committee would be interested to learn of that. Yours in estimation, Dr. Abraham Lewis. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Lewis was feeling bold. Anything in here? Yes. What were you up to, fella? We'll find him eventually, I bet. And I'm quite excited to. Pardon me. Plants, though. Ah, oh, here we go. Do you have a family? <laughs> I have a brother. I miss him a lot. You're doing good conversation, Jesty. Here's one. They say I'm the director, but what does that mean? I have no experience in leadership roles. I have no on-the-job training. And we're not really leading anyone either. I feel like I'm not doing the same job my predecessor was. But we're calling it the same job. Plants, are any of you in here? No? Okay. Wait a minute. You. Alright. How many more dang plants can there be? Uh... Did I come in here before? Huh. So what did I just pick up? Uh... Oh, there's this, uh, this thing which we just watched, but also this? Huh. 
So we just got a song here. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a song. Um, why? Um, I guess you can sit in here and listen to the song if you want to. Uh, ah, here's the thing. Maybe this will explain whatever that is. Auditory Experience 84C, Poets of the Fall, My Dark Disquiet. Answer questions within two minutes of listening. One, did the song elicit any particular memories? If so, elaborate. Two, did you at any point feel a strong emotion? If so, what emotion? Three, did a clear image of a weapon appear at your mind during the song? If so, elaborate. Four, provide a detailed description of your current surroundings as you see them. Five, have you he ever heard the murmur of, of voices when no one's present? If so, what did they say? Do you hear them now? Six, please choose one of each of the following pairs. Uh, one or two, A or B, day or night, apple or orange, burn out or fade away. Uh, okay. I don't get it. I'm gonna go. I got plans to talk to. Oh, here's one. Uh, why can I not? Is it because I'm in combat right now? Is some dork still lingering? Hey! I'm trying to talk to plants. Go away. Who dares? Oh, is there someone way over there? What's going on? What are you doing all the way over there? It doesn't even make sense. What a ridiculous place to be. Can I get there? Boy, I hope so. Hey! Yeah, yeah, no, great to have found the hidden place and all. Just... Why'd you spawn way over here? Thanks for the item, I guess. Have y'all seen any plants? Let's see here, um... There it is, yes. Okay. Is this the last one? Your chlorophyll really brings out the green in your leaves. <laughs> Cute. That's all of them. But I kinda wish there were more. Oh, we made plant friends. Good listeners. <laughs> Oh, well, that was fun. Is there any reason to do this stuff other than just, like, leveling up more and getting some more fun flavor now and then? The flavor is good, it just... All these tasks can take a while. And I feel like the series is already gonna be pretty long. Anyway, that's the plants done. Y'all, let's go ahead and call it a day, and I will see you on Wednesday for some more of this. Take care! Goodbye! Disappointing. That's better. See? See you later.